<laughs> well, Fred's here. Just waiting for a bit of quiet. <laughs> you can cuddle, but I've got coffee, so no playing. Okay. Oh no. This is going to end up with coffee all over me. <laughs> This morning, I got up and did all the normal things that you have to do in the morning. Get the children up, make breakfast, make pat lunch, um, get myself ready to take the boys off to school. Sometimes Toby takes them to school in the morning, sometimes it's me. More often than not, lately, it has been Toby, which is very nice. And we wandered up we didn't wander, we scooted up to the car and um, lo and behold, there was Julie on my drive and she said to the boys, jump in, I'll take you to school. I said, hang on a minute, why don't I take Alfie to school? Look, I'm here I am. <laughs> and she was like, no, no, it's fine. Get in, boys. My car's warm, blah, blah, blah. Alfie's all settled. So, um... I kissed the boys goodbye and I've come back into the house and uh, we've got the gate man coming to fix the clicker thing on our gate. We've got a wooden gate but it's got an electric motor so you can open it with a clicker because the road where we are, coming from one direction it's fine, You can people can see you trying to pull into your drive but coming from the other direction it's around a long sweeping bend so although people shouldn't be driving like maniacs they do drive like maniacs and if you have slowed up to get into the gate and there's another car coming along so you can't pull in immediately um, you do sort of run the risk of somebody screeching behind you um, so we have an electric gate so that it can open and we don't have to hang around on the road for long. I don't know why I'm saying that. In fact, I do know why I'm saying that. It's because I've been ridiculed for having an electric gate by some people that I knew in my past. Um, telling me I was trying to be a bit posh, <laughs> which I'm not. Not trying to be a bit posh at all. Waffle Waffle didn't actually come on to say that. That was triggered because um, the gate man's coming. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying a really lovely coffee. I've done myself a big one. I normally have half size one. And I've got my overnight oats that Toby made. They are the best. And some granola that I slightly singed yesterday, which was a shame. What I wanted to say was thank you so much for all of your positivity on my last post, which was all about how I'm going to be um, fundraising over the next year and my reasons why. And um, just, just lovely, lovely response. Thank you so much. I've got lots of things that I want to... <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I've got lots of things that I want to do as the year progresses. Um, raffles and um, some people have asked if I would sell my pottery and yes, I, I'm considering that. Um, cringily considering that because I don't think it's very good. <laughs> um, I've got a wealth of things that people have offered for raffles. So that's just fantastic. That That's like, like a massive warm hug. <laughs> um, I've got, what else? I can't think, my mind's gone blank. Oh, I've started making a patchwork quilt to raffle. And I tell you what, it had better be a successful raffle because I have done four or five nine patch squares. I need 29. And they've broken me. I'm not enjoying it at all. <laughs> when I get into the swing of it, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for letting the adverts run. Um, honestly, if I see that Solidor advert again, I might just start crying a little bit inside. A little piece of me might die. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh-oh. Ooh. It's a craze of dogs. It's a craze of dogs. Oh, my friend Kelly told us on our wonderful WhatsApp group that a group, the collective noun for a group of rabbits is a fluffle. How wonderful is that? You can, ow, oh my goodness. Bun, bunny. <laughs> Stop it. Gonna kick everything over. Oh. <laughs> Would you please stop? I don't really want you to stop. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out for a walk in a minute. And the gate man's arrived and I can lead him to it and we'll go for a walk. Go for a nice walk. Whoa! Oh no, your tail! I think it's safe to continue talking. Naturally, I've lost my train of thought. Now, I was talking about the adverts, wasn't I? Booking.com, I must have seen that advert over the past couple of years. I can't tell you how many times. I wouldn't mind so much the adverts if they were all if there was maybe 10 or 20 that played because some of them do you remember the adverts from days of yore <laughs> when it was um ew, Margo, oh gosh she's got awful breath <sighs> um when it was things like um bird's eye potato waffles waffle versatile grill and bake and fry and meat and waffle versatile or you do the shake and bag and put the freshness back. Do the shake and bag and put the freshness back. If your cup of smell, no. If your cup smells fresh, your room does too. Every time you vacuum, remember what to do. And then there was, um, um, bum, bungo, they drink it in the Congo. The hippo took an apricot, a guava, and a mungo. When it comes to sully fun, it's what they call um, bungo. And, um, there was another one that was really good. For mash, get smash. Um, what else did we have that I used to enjoy? <laughs> what did you enjoy? I bet there's loads of adverts that you guys enjoy. Um, what about um, Clifford's got a terrible toothache it's because he eats too many sweets and never brushes his teeth. Remember that one? That was for Listerine. Um, 
Brush, brush, red stripe, blue stripe, white. Brush, brush, gurgle, gurgle, taste just right. As you can see, Aquafresh is all three. Three in one protection for your family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a toothpaste. See, you wouldn't mind, would you, if the adverts were like that? Because they've become woven into part of your fabric, of your memories, of your knitting and your your life and and what you were doing at that time. But instead, I want a door that says, what is it she says? I want a door that says, oh, I want a door that is as stylish as me. I'm doing my mad thing where I get my spent, uh, cat oops. <laughs> my spent candles and I melt them down and um, then I dunk dried tea bags in them and it makes the most wonderful fire lighters. We've got these candles here, huge great big pillar things and they're getting very difficult to light because I don't use one of those um, lighters, it's, oh, what would you call it? It's, it's massive, it's long, long, long. It's, you know, one of those really long ones. It almost looks like a gun, like a pistol. Um, I just use matches and I've got an abundance of short mass matches. And also, because it's so deep now and the walls are quite thick, you can't really see the glow from the candle. So I'm going to upend this in a saucepan on low heat and melt it to shrink the height. I'm not recommending to anybody else to do this because there's probably a fire hazard, especially, especially if you have a gas hob. Maybe, I oh know you can't, couldn't do it in the microwave, could you? So I'm not suggesting that you do this, but this is what I'm gonna do. actually worked really well and there's all my fire lighters they look gruesome it's much later in the day as you can tell by the light I've just I've been I've been editing and um, I have thought of another advert that I used to love oh what we like is country life there's no better butter to put on your knife if you don't believe us ask ernie's wife she's always singing about it and the red car and the blue car had a race all red wants to do is stuff his face he eats everything he sees from trucks to prickly trees but smart old blue he took the milky way that was for the milky way chocolate bar <laughs>